All right, so we're going to take a look at side lengths and angle measures and similar figures. This is saying triangle BCD, and this symbol right here means similar. So BCD is similar to triangle VWX. What is the measure of angle X? So what is the measure of angle X? So here's angle X, what's that? So if these two are similar, then remember it has to have the same shape, which it does, same angles, which is what I need to figure out to make sure that it's the same. So 38 goes with 38, and then this 50, well, um, this 50, it must be down here with VB, and then 92 goes with that. So that's going to be 92. Another way to kind of look at this is going order. You see how it says BCD? So it goes BCD, which means this one is going to do the same. VWX, VWX. So it goes in order. So that means starting here, this is the same starting point. So this is going to be 50. Then it goes to 38. Then it goes to 92. All right, so again, the definition of similar, same shape, um, angles are the same, and sides are proportional. And they're asking me for angle H. So again, go in order U, V, W, U, V, W, U, V, W, and this goes J, I, H, J, I, H. So it goes like that. So starting here, this is the same. Then it goes, this is the same, and then this is the same. So I'm trying to find out what this is. That's going to be 98. All right, they're, they're, two, they're telling you that they're similar. So again, same shape, angles are the same, and sides are proportional. So again, PQR, PQR, and then it goes X that way. So then it goes like, this is the same with that, then these two are the same, then these two are the same. And which one do I want? Y, so these two are the same. So Y is 47. Same shape, angles are the same. So what is angle Y? So again, QRS, QRS goes like that, and then ZXY, ZXY goes like that. So these two together, then these two together, then these two together. So what's Y? 55. All right, the shapes are similar, same shape, uh, angles are the same, and sides are congruent. This goes C, C, D, C, D, E, F, G. And this one goes T U, so T T U Q R S. So it goes in the same order. And what do I care about? S. I care about this one. All right. So it goes the same starting point, 100 and 100. Then it goes there, then there, then there, then there. So S is the same as 135. What is the angle of E? So again, same shape. Right? This, this one's just twisted upside down. Um, angles are the same. So to find this, I just need to find E on here. So it goes G, H, G, G, H, I, J, K. And this one goes E, D, C, B, A. So it's the beginning. The beginning, oops, the beginning one is 115. So it's the same one here, 115. Angle J, so I care about that one. Same shape, these two are similar, so same shape, same angle. So let's find the angles. It goes C, D, C, D, E, F. And this one goes K, J, I, H. So starting point is here, and then it goes to the next part, so this would be J, 118. Oh, I put a plus sign, but the correct answer is 118. All right, find, they're telling you they're similar, right? So again, same shape. So this is the same shape. This just needs to get twisted. Um, same angles. They don't, they don't give us the angles, but we know they're the same because they say they're similar. So now they're telling you find C, B, and B, F. So remember, sides have to be proportional. So still it goes S, T, S, T, U, V, W. And this one goes F, B, F, B, C, D, E. And then CD, it's asking you to find CD, so this one be my first one, and then BF, BF, this one would be my second one. All right, so starting point right here, starting point right here. So this has got to be proportional with that. Okay, so now I have to set up a proportional, a proportion that does that. So I'm going to say, since I want to know what Y is, Y, go, oh, actually, I'll start with this side. Y, uh, I keep saying Y. 
All right, so this is this, right? So 5 is going to go with y. Agreed? 5 goes with y because it's the starting. And then this, tu, is going to go with this because that's my second part. So I started on this side, so I'll start again on this side. So 5 is going to also go with this, which is 1. And now I'm going to solve the... This is a color proportion. I'm going to solve it. You just cross multiply. 1 times 5 is 5 equals 5 times five, uh, y is 5y. Then divide both sides by 5. So you're going to get y is equal to 1. So y has to be 1 in order for them to be proportional. So y is fb. Y is fb, so or bf. So that's going to be 1. Then cd, you set up another proportion. So I already know that 5 goes with 1, right? So the second one goes with the second one. So I know 5, and I'm going to put those on the bottom because I like my variable being on the top. 5 goes with 1. And then I need one that goes with x, so I need c, d. So this is actually even a faster way of doing it. c, d goes with u, v. So find u, v. u, v is 15. So 15 goes with the x. So again, you don't even have to draw the arrows at this point. Um, you could just use the letters because they've already written it down. So c, d goes with u, f. Okay. And then cross, multiply, and divide. So... 15 times 1 is 15. 5 times x is 5x divided by 5. So you're going to get 15 divided by 5 is 3. So that gives me CD as 3. All right, so they're similar. Find DE. So DE, so call that x, goes with, DE goes with ST. So find ST. ST goes with 2. Now find where I have another number here. So CB, CB, and then you do the same thing goes here with U, with VU, VU. And I do have a number there. So 4 goes with 1. Cross multiply and divide. So 1X equals 8 divided by 1. X equals 8. All right, find RV. RV is going to be X. So X goes with RV is the third letter and the fourth letter. So HI. Where's HI? HI goes with 2 over. Now, because I started on this side, I have to start on this side, okay? So let me find else. Where else is that number on this side? There's one on ST. So ST goes with ST, which is 9, goes with GF, 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 which is 1. Cross multiply and divide, so you're going to get 1x, one 1x one x equals 18, divide by 1, x is 18. Okay, find gh, alright, so gh, gh, so this one right here, gh, that's going to be my x, goes with ab, so the first two go with the first two, so what's ab? Uh, 16. Then find where else has a number on this first one, right? So gj has a number so gj has a number so that's four goes with so it goes from first to last a to d a d which is 32 cross multiply and divide so you get 32 x equals 16 times 4 which is 64 divide by 32 which is x equals 4 no nope, x equals 2 i'm tripping use a calculator 2 and then G A H I, so H I is the second and third, so Y goes with second and third, which is B C B C B C, which is forty. And since I already used four and thirty-two, I'm going to use the same thing. G J G J four. Wait, did I change my order? What did I? Ooh. I said HI, right? So I had, okay, I started from there. So GJ, okay, goes with uh, 32, which is AD. Yep, AD, which is 32. Cross multiply and divide. So you're going to get 4 times 40 is 160. So you're going to get 32Y equals 160 divided by 32. So divide by 32, and you're going to get 5. So HI is equal to five all right again the shapes are already similar so same shape same angles and sides are uh, proportional so QR 
So it goes QR, so that, let that be my X. X goes with the first two, WV, WV, which is 16. And then something with a number, so QT, for example. So QT, first and last one, QT is 1, goes with first and last one, WX, WX, which is 8. Cross multiply, divide 8X equals 8x equals 16, and then divide by 8, so x equals 2. Okay, then you're going to do rs, so from r to s, second and third, so let's do that's my y equals, so second to third, vw, which is 8, goes with, and since I already found this one, I'm going to use the same, 1 and 8, because I already know that works. Okay, so 1 is qt, and that goes with, um, V X V wait Q Q T Q T goes with W. Why am I doing V? W X which is eight. So cross multiply and divide. It's gonna be eight Y equals eight divided by eight Y equals one. All right, same sim the shapes is the it's shapes are similar. What is E and F? So what is E and F? So again, remember, same shape, same angle, sides are proportional. That's what similarity means. So it's going to go um, V. V, W, X. V, W, then X. And it's going to go D, E, F. D, E, F. So starting here, this goes together. I don't, I don't need to know what that one is. So go in here, this goes together. So that should be 30. So E should be 30. And then go in here, these go together. And that should be 59. What is angle G? So again, W, X, Y, W, X, Y. Goes with H, I, J. So start in here, that goes together. Then it goes here. Then it goes here. So G is 94. All right, find GH. So GH, X goes with IJ, because those are the second and third letter, IJ, IJ, which is 24. And then GF, so GF, which is 10, goes with IK, IK, which I don't have, so I'm not going to use that one. So let's use FH, FH, which is 15 goes with FH goes with KJ, KJ, which is 24. All right, cross multiply and divide. So it's going to be 15 when you do that. That's 24X equals 24 times 15, which is 360 divided by 24, 15. All right, then Y. IK, IK, IK goes with, so IK, Y equals, goes with GF, 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 which is 10. And because I started on this triangle, I'm going to start on this triangle again. What do I have here? 24 on KJ. So KJ, do I have FH? I do. So KJ, which is 24, goes with FH, which is 15. Cross multiply and divide, so 15y equals 240 divided by 15. So y is 240 divided by 15, which is 16. Okay, um, find st and hi. st, so st, st, so st is going to be my x, goes with the second and third jk, jk, 4. And then I have a letter RV, RV, which is 18, goes with IH, first and last, IH, which doesn't have a number, so I'm not going to use that one. So let's use this one, RS. So RS is also 18, and that goes with IJ, IJ, which is 3. Cross multiply and divide, so that's going to be 3X equals 18 times 4, which is 72, divided by 3. 24. So S is 24. And HI, 
HI, so that's my new one, goes with VR, first and last, so VR, which is 18. And what else am I given? I'm given IJ, so IJ, and am I given RS? I am, so IJ is 3, goes with RS, which is 18. So this is going to be Y equals 3. So you cross multiply, so 18 equals, 18Y equals 3 times 18. 3 times 18. And then, so that's going to be 54 divided by 18, which is 3. And that's pretty much it. So again, the whole definition is similar, same shape, same angle, sides are proportional.